Probably the biggest thing that I notice is the sense of awe and majesty that people have when they walk into the chapel. I think when they walk up to the chapel, they're wowed with just the structure itself, but when they walk inside, they're overcome with an emotion and a feeling that's really hard to describe to anyone. The best part of my job is interacting with the public and engaging with the public walking into the chapel for the first time. We may have visitors that are 10 years old, visitors that are 90 years old, who have had the chapel on their bucket list to see. And we've actually had people uh, show up with a month left to live, and this was on their bucket list to see. So as far as we know, we are the number one man-made tourist attraction uh, in Colorado. We have approximately 800,000 visitors plus each year. The chapel is constructed from 1959 to 1963, so it took about four years to construct this amazing structure. The chapel is controversial back in the day for a couple different reasons. If you think of a typical church back in the 50s, maybe a long rectangle building made out of wood with a steeple on the end with a bell. The chapel design was far ahead of that time. It was basically the components were steel, aluminum, and glass with spires, and it was a concept that no one had ever seen before. And for people to grasp that, it was, it was a struggle. Even architects, um, Frank Lloyd Wright, um, had made some negative comments regarding the design of the chapel. The design of the spires really is pointing towards the heavens, and that was the inspiration of Walter Nesch, who designed the Cadet Chapel. People can draw different things from art or architecture. Uh, it does look like fighter jets shooting up into the air. However, um, in my conversation with Walter Nesch directly, uh, he did tell me that he designed it pointing straight up towards the heavens. There are over 24,000 pieces of stained glass in the Protestant Chapel, 24 different colors. Across the Protestant Chapel is 46 feet tall, 12 feet wide. We refer to it as a soaring spear cross. The crossbars are designed to resemble wings or propellers, and it weighs 1,200 pounds. It's probably one of the taller crosses you'll see inside any church in the United States. The pipe organ has 4,518 pipes, 83 ranks, 67 stops. It is a three-manual classical organ, and that cost about $123,000 to install in 1962. If we had to replace it today, it'd be well worth over $3 million. The tallest pipe is 32 feet tall, and the smallest pipe is smaller than a pencil. The Cadet Chapel is an icon for religious freedom for cadets of all faith groups. Here at the Cadet Chapel, we have six different chapels that we can have six different services going on at the exact same time, and that's a very special thing in the world we live in today. The synagogue as you walk in today is exactly what it was in 1963 when we opened up. It uh, accommodates the religious needs for our Jewish cadets. We do have a rabbi that's assigned here, um, and their service is every Friday evening, and it's a beautiful synagogue. The Buddhist chapel accommodates up to 20 cadets at any given time, and they have their meditation services a couple times a week, and we do have a Buddhist sensei who accommodates those needs for those cadets. 
The other thing that's a special treat for us is to get a chance to work with cadets who are proposing to their future uh, spouse and we work with them and I've seen some pretty neat proposals. I've had the honor of taking several people through the Cadet Chapel. Uh, President Obama visited the Cadet Chapel and took him on a tour. Uh, John F. Kennedy, back in the day, was here in the Cadet Chapel. Uh, politicians from all walks of life, musicians, actors, talk show hosts, they've all been here at the Cadet Chapel. Well, the chapel is a very unique place uh, for lots of different reasons. So I don't know of any other structure in the world that accommodates so many different religions under one roof. And so obviously it's very appealing visually. However, uh, what it stands for, for the cadets and religious freedom is, is really what's most important.